It is another new day for our 17th apiary for honeybees. In the Bible, God entrusted humans with the care and stewardship of the environment, not to exploit it, but to protect and enhance it. In the past, people used to hang log hive on trees. And even today, this hive still exists. It has been here for six months. Today, we will see what's inside it. The hive has been colonized by insects. And in some cases, hives and honeybee have been attacked and abandoned. Today, we have come with good news to restore the honeybee and get good returns. These are our Langstroth hives for our new apiary. Langstroth hive gives a farmer 10 to 15 kilograms in three months if it's well managed. Honey is mentioned over 60 times in the Bible and is often associated with purity, abundance, and God's provision. If you need hives, please contact us on the number provided on the description. Welcome to the construction of apiary number 17 in Migori County. This time round, we are using 4x4 as our structure posts. It wants an easy day for us on preparing the ground. But we had to look for all means to lay our apiary design on this ground. Some deeper stones, we have to expose them on fire for them to crack. Other honey maker insects beeping wondering what's going on here today. Our first stage of raising the poles is getting successful despite the ground challenges. The technical part is the trench. The trench is made with wire mesh and concrete. The other part of the structure is taking shape successfully. Wycliffe Nyarebo is doing his best to make sure that the structure meets all the requirements. In every apiary, we have to spray the chemical to prevent all underground insects from getting into our apiaries. Our design plan for this apiary is available. If you're interested, please comment or contact us on the number in the description. Finalizing the walls of the trench, we have to smoothen all inner areas. The trench will serve as the barrier for any rodents that try to get into the apiary. If you're interested in site visit, you are welcome to all our apiaries across East Africa. The experienced team has to align the roof to give enough space when walking on the upper floor. Let's take a walk in this jungle of flowers. The farmer has maintained the area with different types of flowers for bees. Some plants here are traditional forage, others have been planted. To be successful in beekeeping, do it as a commercial beekeeping but not as a hobby. As bees move from flower to flower, they inadvertently transfer pollen, which is necessary for plants to reproduce. The forage tells you that this is a jungle paradise for honeybees. Our roof and the floor is successfully completed. 
If you want to know how the floor is done, please visit our apiary number 15 on the link provided below. Every apiary we built comes with new features. Our great ideas we have is to improve on production of raw honey to clear the fake honey in the market. This apiary is projected to carry more than 200 hives. Successful beekeepers depend on the larger foraging area, like this area in Mikori. The apiary is almost completed, and we are now working on the water tank stand. The weather is not friendly, but we have to work to meet a target. Around this compound, we have had some hives on catchment sites to be colonized. The hive must be hanged with a binding wire to keep it distance from the branches. This keeps it from getting rodents that climb the trees. Let's now prepare the apiary for our bees by cleaning the dust from the timbers. Bees like clean places because cleanliness is a crucial for the health and survival of the entire colony. The wire mesh helps our apiary from attacks like wild animals and even trespassing of human beings. If you need the design plan of any size of the apiary, please WhatsApp us on the number below at the description. This is how it's easy for anybody to move with the hive inside the apiary. And on the upstairs movement is very comfortable for the farmer. The reason why we have revolutionized beekeeping mode is we want to secure the apiary improve on productivity and have more hives in a small space. Our apiary in Mikori is done in less than 13 days as we agreed on. We hope you have learned a lot from this short video. Now let's install the water tank for rain water storage. Everybody here is very careful and responsible. The water storage will be used to refresh the water in the trench every after two weeks. Our tank is now ready to collect the showers of raindrops from the apiary roof. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share. See you in our next project. And may God bless you all.